Provena, sir. I swear, I didn't know that was your establishment. These motherfuckers, I think they know what you're talking about. Tony, Tony, Tony. You dare lie to me? Right here? Right now? I got eyes, you know. Everywhere. I've known you for many years. But what hurts the most is that you question my intelligence. <laughs> Let me make it up to you. It wasn't personal with Tony. Him and his Jersey boys were trying to fuck with my business. As my older brother Lonzo used to say, somebody fucks with me, I'm gonna fuck with him. This is the story of how I got into this life. The life of a gangster. You're balling! Are you balling? Paulie, he was a good man. He died of a heart attack a few years ago. It hurt quite a bit. He treated me so good, me and my brother. Jingle Soli, you see my brother Lonzo anywhere? My father's worried sick and he's having me go out and look for him. I'm sorry, kid, but I ain't seen him. Fuck! Oh, Lenzo, no need to get upset about it. Your brother Alonzo, he's probably out and about with a fraud or two. You know how he is. No, Paul, this, this time was different. Him and my dad really got into it this time. You didn't get in the middle of it again, did you? Always in the middle of it. Always! I've always got to be the fucking buffer between them. Look, I hear you, kid. But you got to not worry about this. Your brother, he's going to come back. He always does. This, I'm just worried about him, you know? I mean, you know, that's my older brother. I love him, you know? It's just... Why don't we get these gloves on? Get some of that fight out of you. Maybe. Thanks, boy. Now, why don't you put these two together to see how they feel? And we are back here, round two, here at semifinal action. Enzo in the black trunks, Mike Napoli in the red trunks. It has been all Enzo here, round one, out pointing Napoli. There's the big guy, my older brother Alonzo. This guy had it all growing up. The girls, he was captain of the football team in high school. I always looked up to him. He was the coolest fucking guy in my eyes. Him and I got into it quite a bit, don't get me wrong, but I always loved him. In my years of boxing, I knew fights were fixed. I just never thought my big brother would fix mine.
Thank you. Do you know how long away this chance won't go? Do you? Do you think I'd be able to tell you like this? You can't just be Yes! And come back and expect me to do whatever you want! You can't take advantage of me like that! Not anymore! my tape tonight. It's restitution for your boss. Okay, sit with me. Sit, sit, come on. Lorenzo, por que me dices? You know I have a reason for everything I do. I'm sorry for what I put you through. You and mom. Dad would be so proud of you, though. Not for who you can knock out and who you can take down. But for who you are and always have been. You got a lot going for you, kid. More than some belt wrapped around your waist. Kid, you got heart. You got brains. And you got strength. What do I have to show for it? I'm still fighting. I'm still working dad's job at the dealership. And we are still barely scraping by. That's why I came back. Come work for me. You'll make more money than you ever dreamed. Look, my boss is looking for somebody for a job, and it's top secret, but the pay is gonna be great. I promise. All right? Look, heal up a little, rest up a bit, and I'll introduce you to him next week, all right? I love you, kid. I always did. Love you, too. There he is, Angelo Napoli. He was it. The top of the food chain in the neighborhood. If you didn't pay him, you were as good as dead. The fight was fixed by him and Alonzo. They wanted Angelo's son, Michael, to beat me, even though I was kicking his rich ass. I had to throw the fucking fight, or I was as good as dead. I never met him before, but I had been an associate for a while now, so I knew it was a special occasion. So I got up the next morning and told Alonzo, let's meet him some early so I could make a good impression, you know. Everybody's got something? Yes, sir. Good. Good. Everything else okay? Yes, boss. Yes, sir. Drop out. So this is the famous brother you were telling me about. Yeah, that's him. He's a real slugger. I heard you put up a hell of a fight last night. You did the right thing. Letting him win. I want to apologize to you for the way you lost the fight. I know a thing or two about working hard for something and not getting it. That being said, what you did was help, was help the familia close another piece of business. And with the muscle you provided, I can make you a made man. That's if you want it, of course. You could join your brother. How long have you been with the family? A little over a year? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Look at him now. I'd give it a lot of thought, but that's it. 
I've given a lot of thought, but I just don't want this to be a waste of my time. I need some assurances. <laughs> I love this kid, Alonzo. He's not only a fighter, he's a risk taker. Hmm? We need more risk takers in the family. I have something of a job for you. And if you could help me with this, I can make your life very, very comfortable. Hmm? I'm reaching not the end, so. It's come to my attention that we have a Tutto topo in our family. A fucking rat! Believe that? We have a fucking rat sharing family secrets with the police. The whole operation is in jeopardy here. They know everybody in the family, and I can't afford risking my men. Unfortunately, I've had to go to the outside for some help. I need a favor of you. And since you're Alonzo's younger brother, I'm entrusting you with something important. Just bring me the fucking rat, quickly and quietly. Find me the name. I'll do it. Bene. Molto bene, Enzo. Grazie. Che Dio ti protegge. Hmm? To make sure things go according to plan, I'm sending Han with you. I met him while I was serving in the Corps back in the war. You can trust him. Hmm? <laughs> Han took a liking to me. I never knew why. He had quite the reputation. He wasn't Italian, but he was close friends with Angelo. Word on the street was, Han had a temper that came out of nowhere. I heard that one time Han cut some guy's head off and played a game of soccer with it. I mean, who the fuck does that? I tried my best to stay on his good side, but I had a temper myself. So yeah, that's how I got my, uh, so I got my nickname, you know, Ferrari. You know, my father, he said this one time, you know, I, I, I was in a fight with my brother Lonzo, and I clocked him so fucking fast, it was like a fucking car went by, a fucking Ferrari. So that's how my... You know, my dad was a car guy anyway, so that's why he, you know, named me for in, named me Enzo in the first place. <laughs> Funny story, man, my brother. So you were in the war, huh? Yeah. How, how long have you been with Angela? About two years. How does he know this? Rats feeding information to cops. See, a lot of our shipments got intercepted, even though we took every measure to protect communications. The worst part is, the crew that got arrested were our newest members. They had no prior criminal records, no ties to us. They got picked up as if. said the cops knew who they were before the operation. Is that messed up, Enzo? Messed up where we live in. After a while, stop believing coincidences. You wanna know something? What? You wanna know my guesses? Who the fucking rat is? Your brother, Lonzo. Now why the fuck would my brother snitch on the mafia? Just look around you, Enzo. This bullshit started happening around the same time we took your brother in the same night. Coincidence? I don't think so. What are you talking about? What night? The night we found him in the alleyway with a smoking gun. Said he killed somebody and needed our protection. That bastard pledged his loyalty to us. That didn't amount to anything. 
When was this? About a year ago. Was it? Was it on Third Street? Yeah. Yeah, how do you know about that? Nothing. <laughs> what? You just... What? So you're telling me that my brother killed my father? I don't know who he killed, but he killed somebody. I don't know what Han will tell you about me. That's not true. I would never hurt you. Han's had it out for me since the day I was made. Where you at, kid? I told you I ain't gonna hurt you. Son of a bitch! Fucking coward! Han, 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 you look like shit, buddy. So you killed Vicky, huh? Fuck you, you fucking rat. A sudden move. Burn a fucking hell. After you.
It was Alonzo who got shot in the head, but I felt that bullet too. It went through my heart knowing Alonzo was out to kill me. He betrayed the family, but even worse, he betrayed our family. I can never forget that. Enzo, Enzo. I'm sorry for your loss. So sorry for your loss. Hmm? Deepest condolences to your family. Shootouts. They can be so unpredictable. If everyone knew how to run the family business this way, this wouldn't have to happen. You've proven yourself enough to me and to the family. Hmm? I want to make you an offer. I'm gonna make you a made man. A capo. Part of the Napoli familia. Do you accept? I would be honored. Bene. Bene. Benvenuto la familia. Han threw me a surprise party with all the made guys in our crew to cheer me up. I knew half of these losers from growing up. Tommy, Joey, Frankie, Petey, and Paul Jr. Tonight was a special occasion. I had jumped from associate of the family to now a capo, completely skipping over the soldier face. Angelo wasn't the kind of guy to take in a nobody, but he was desperate, and I came through. He trusted me from then on out, and I never betrayed him. A few years later, I became the underboss. When Angelo was whacked a few years after that, I stepped up. I became the boss, the Don. Thank you for killing that fucking man. Oh, fuck you. Leave that for me. I ain't good, man. Shut the fuck up. Loose list. You know what's wrong with that? Like that shit. Hey, amen to that. Hey, you're fucking rat. Enzo. I couldn't believe the balls on these guys. Talking about my brother right there. I mean, we were all in agreement that he had what was coming to him. But Alonzo was still my brother. I had a respect for him. I made sure they all got a bullet in their fucking heads.
idea, Lorenzo. You know I have a reason for everything I do. If you're reading this, it only means one of our mother's sons is dead and it ain't you. Dad always loved you more than he ever loved me, and I couldn't handle that. You know I'm a survivor, and though you're the last person in this whole world I'd ever want to hurt, I have a reason for everything I do. There might have been more at play than you'll know, but that don't matter now. I just want you to take care of yourself, baby bro. Love, Alonzo. Was it him, Alonzo, or was you? I remember that night, my God, he came down my dressing room and he said, kid, this ain't your night. I'm going for the price on the pole. Remember that? This ain't your night. My night, I could have taken him apart. And what happens next? He gets a title shot of doors in the ballpark, and what do I get? One way ticket to Palookaville. He was my brother, Alonzo. You should have looked out for me a little bit. You should have taken care of me just a little bit so I don't have to take them dives for that short end money. You don't understand. I could have had class. I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody instead of a bum, which is what I am. Let's face it. It was you, Alonzo. It was you. Breaks my heart to this day what I had to do. But it made me who I am today. It was a cold lesson that I had to learn to navigate this cold world. Now I am somebody. My name is Don Enzo Provino. I am the Godfather.